Hello, welcome back to Silver Thread Sewing. I'm Diane. This is Friday Sews. So I came outside today. It is so hot in the house and humid that I just couldn't stand it. So, so I'm not in my sewing room, but I have been in there this week. Um, I am going to insert some footage of my pants. I finally made my pants. I've talked about it for weeks and weeks and weeks and finally got an actual pair to be worn and I have worn them. I've worn them several times, um, twice. I've worn them twice and they've been washed and I've gone on again today. So I had a piece of um, navy twill and um, it had been given to me a million years ago and don't even know where it came from or anything, but it was a really pretty piece of twill um, and a dark, it, the navy's really dark. I don't know if you can tell that, but um, it had been apparently cut uneven. So when I put it out on my table, to uh, to get ready to cut it, I pressed it good and got all the wrinkles out of it. It had been washed a long time ago, but I pressed it good. And when I started trying to get it laid out on the table, it was twisted. And so I started trying to straighten everything out and get all the wrinkles out and get the selvage edges together. And when I did, um, it was cut very unevenly on both ends. So I went to the, the lowest point and did a snip and just ripped the fabric on each end. And I probably lost about three and a half to four inches on each end, not straight across because, you know, I started out at the lowest point and it started at almost nothing and went to about four inches. So I only had about 63 inches, I believe, of this uh, fabric. But um, I'm not that tall, and I knew that we, my sewing buddy and I had um, left them about four inches extra long so I could decide on the length later, and uh, that had worked out really well. So I, I cut what I had. I got, I got them on the fabric and got them cut out, and I really do like it a lot. The only problem to it, it shows every little stirring and thread and lint and, and dog hair. <laughs> But they're very comfortable and they're not too hot. Um, I think um, I've already got another pair cut out. And I think that the next time I may take just a little bit out right in this area. Just right at the thigh right there. I think that it would look a little more flattering uh, if I pin out maybe half an inch on each side. And the other thing I would like to do is just straighten the legs out and have more of a of a of a straight leg uh, toward the floor. I don't much like the look on me of a peg leg or a where they are wider here and then they narrow down. It always just kind of uh, draws attention to my hips and my width. <laughs> so I thought if I straighten the legs out, that that might be a little more flattering. Um, but I do like these a lot and they're very comfortable and I couldn't have done it without my sewing buddy. That's for sure. She was amazing. And, um, I used the tan corduroy, uh, pair that she sewed up for me. We took those apart. We just basted them together and I used that as my pattern for these. So I'm going to, um, figure out exactly where I need to start, uh, taking out a little bit down the leg and then I will... Um, kind of go from there, but I think that's the only change I would make. Now, these are elastic at the waist, and I don't really wear a lot of pants that are elastic, um, except pajamas and like jogging pants or something, but I don't mind this. It's not real bulky. So, um, the way I did my waist with the elastic, um, I did it about just like I do my pajamas, to be honest. I serge the top of the pants so there wouldn't be any raw edges to fray and I took my elastic that fit my waist where I wanted my pants to fit and um, I lapped over the elastic on top of itself about five eighths of an inch and uh, sewed a rectangle and an X through that just to secure the elastic and then I 
uh, marked my quarter points, put the seam and the front center seam and then uh, the sides and got it all quartered. And I used the back center back seam and the center front seam and I used the side seams as my quarter points and just inserted that with my serger. I had to stretch the elastic from one point to the next and uh, then just turned it in and top stitched it and it worked fine and I, I don't think it looks bad at all. I will, I don't know if you can see from this angle. I'm a terrible videographer, but yeah. So that's that's how I did that and the elastic won't twist that way because it's, it's um, secured and I think it'll be, I think it'll be great. It feels good, it's comfortable. Um, so I'm really pleased with these pants. I like the length of them. And once I get just a little bit shaved out of the inside of these, um, the sides, I think they're gonna be perfect. And I plan to wear them. And um, I was happy to finally use that little piece of twill fabric. So I had gone into my uh, sewing machine business this week. My my friend Gary at Johnson City Sewing Center. Um, I've got all my machines from him and my industrial machine, uh, my jack, it had a knob that you had to push in and turn to adjust the stitch length and my hands, it was getting harder and harder for my arthritic hands to do that. And um, so we, my husband and I had talked about it and we went in and saw Gary this past week and uh, I traded my Jack F4 for an A4E and it's electronic version of the Jack sewing machine. And um, I, it has push button controls, the stitch lengths controlled by that. It has some programmable functions and um, I'm just thrilled with it. I'm, I'm so happy with it and has the best thread trimmer of any machine I personally have ever used. All my machines have a thread cutting function, but none of them ever, you know, they make a lot of noise and fuss trying to cut the threads and it always sounds like it's going to, you know, just fall over from doing it. And um, so this Jack machine, it is the best thread cutting machine I have ever seen and it barely leaves any tail to be trimmed off. So I will put in a little footage and also of my little seam guide that I've been using on it and that I used to make sure I got these pants the exact seam allowance correct. So um, I'll put in a little footage here of me showing you that. So I'm sitting here at my jack. This is the newer um, A4E sewing machine and it is an electronic machine but it is just a straight stitch machine it has a lot of functions that my other one did not have has and I can control my stitch length and things from a push button uh, which is for me much easier I do want to show you how well this machine um, not only sews, but it also does a lock stitch. I have it programmed to do a lock stitch at the beginning, a lock stitch at the end, as well as cutting the threads at the end. And that's controlled from my foot pedal. So um, you back pedal and that will cause it to lock stitch. And then um, after you've sewn your seam, you back pedal again and it will do another lock stitch and cut the thread. And it does it so well. It does it better than any uh, of the machines that I've sewn on that have thread cutting options. But um, it, I'll show you that briefly. I know it's a specific machine for a specific type of uh, task. It's only a straight stitch machine, but it does that very, very well. And this one does not have the the knob that has to be pushed in and turned. I just, I was getting where I couldn't do that. So um, I highly recommend Gary at the Johnson City Sewing Center. And I will uh, put his a link to his Facebook page below as well as to his website. And uh, he would ship, you know, anywhere that you needed him to, I'm sure. And he is just phenomenal. I just love Gary and appreciate him. And I'm not affiliated with the Johnson City Sewing Center in any way, but I did want to share that with you. Also, one quick product. It's probably one of my most used and most loved notions. And it is by Clover. And it is 
a Nancy Zeman product. And if you're like me, anything Nancy Zeman, you, you just know it's going to be quality. But it's called the 6-in-1 Stick and Stitch Guide. And I took half of it off. This is just a little plastic thing, little piece. It's very straight down this side. And then it has a curved edge here and another inside curve here, and another straight edge. And on the bottom, it is sticky. It has uh, some kind of material on it that it's very, very sticky. Maybe you can see it right there kind of shining. So it has two of these. And um, I'm gonna move my camera down. I'm bad at this, and I know I'm no videographer by, by any means, but I'm gonna move you down. And hopefully you'll be able to see you can use these together they actually clamp together and then you would stick them both down and it gives you a longer area or you can use the curved um, the curved edges to do curves but all you have to do is just stick them down and you don't have to worry about any kind of magnets or anything that might damage your machine um, but it's it's a really good little tool and that is how I made my pants. I used this at the 5 8 stitching line and I did sew them on my Jack um, A4E machine. So I'm going to show you how well this machine works. So I just have a scrap of fabric here. I'm going to back pedal and raise my presser foot and then drop the foot and I have my seam guide in place. Now it's going to do three quick stitches to lock it. I'm going to sew forward and then it will do three quick lock stitches and cut my thread. It's kind of loud so be prepared. And that's as quick as that. And I don't know if you can see that good. Like I said, I know I'm no videographer, but it has no thread, none. It cuts it so well, and it sews such a pretty seam. It does such a good job. So I'm very happy with my Jack A4E from the Johnson City Sewing Center. And this little shirt is just um, that I'm wearing today is just a little, um, it's a simplicity. It's like the flannel ones I made with the, the sleeve detail. I used the body of that and I actually doubled it because this gauze fabric was sheer a little bit and I just doubled it so it it's, can be worn inside or outside and I just, I lined it and yeah. But the sleeves hang off my shoulders a little bit too much. This was before I learned how to, um, how to, bring the shoulders in and um but i like the neckline a lot and i i like this little shirt and i wear it all the time in the winter i usually wear it under a sweater so the sleeves don't show but um but anyway that's about all i've got to talk about today i just wanted to let you know that i have finally made my pants and i wanted to say thanks to joan my sewing friend for all her help i could not have done it without her but um i'm feeling a breeze and i'm very happy about that it feels great out here um, I don't know, the house is just humid and hot, so it's good to be outside. And hope, I hope you can hear me okay. The wind's blowing just a little bit, and I hope it's not, um, not being annoying for you. But I want to say thank you to Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing, Sewing Room for starting the hashtag Friday Sews and allowing all of us to participate and to find people to watch that have the same interests that we do. Um, just remember... You will never be a failure at sewing as long as you keep trying. So never give up and never quit. If you have a failure or something that doesn't go just exactly as you planned it, you're learning a lesson from it. So it's still not a failure. So just keep on trying. I plan to do the same because I certainly have a lot of things that don't go as I planned. But I do have my little slip cut out for the laundry day tee. It, I just made the uh, sleeveless version and cut it out of a Walmart bundle. And I also had a Walmart bundle that I cut a pair of pants out just like these. Um, and I may go ahead and shave just a little bit off the sides and I did widen the leg a little bit. So hopefully next week I'll be able to let you know if that worked. But I didn't want to change my master pattern because 
what if I messed it up. I wanted to have that intact. So I just marked on my fabric with a, a, a tailor's wax and didn't mess with my original pattern from these pants. So I'm good. <laughs> but I hope you guys have a great weekend and I hope you get to sew if you want to and I hope everyone's well. Thanks for stopping by and joining me. Bye.